Hey guys, Urban Z here. Welcome to a new video on the channel. So today we're doing a video on the G6E. We'll be putting a hump on it on the car, which we have freshly painted. And then we'll be detailing the whole car, um, giving it a nice polish. And after that, um, we'll go for a little drive. I'll show you guys around the car. So let's just get straight into it. All right, guys, for this part of the video, I actually didn't record any audio. So I'll be voicing over what's happening. Um, so pretty much we're just getting rid of the, uh, the heat shield that's on the, bon on the bonnet here. And uh, my dad's just helping me out with the process because you need two people to take off the bonnet. And there we go. The uh, heat shield from the bonnet is off. And the next thing we're doing is taking off the gas struts that hold the bonnet off. Um, we just got the, the bonnet propped up here on a little stick just to hold it in the meantime. And then we're just unscrewing the bolts and after that it's just taking off the bonnet. So this is a quick snippet of when the bonnet was just freshly painted and we're just going to put it on after this. So now we just got to put on the heat shield that we took off the original bonnet and just pin it down to the little clips. Right boys, the XRA bonnet is now on the car. All we have to do left Let's chuck on this little bonnet strip. You guys can see that thing there. That just needs to go right about here. But um, two of the little clips that it goes in are broken, so we might have to use a bit of silicon. And then all we have to do after that is polish the car, make sure it all kind of matches and flows. And now she's done. Alright, just taped up. Looks completely like shit. But we're gonna let that sit, let that silicon dry for a day. Right, and that is the bonnet with that strip on. Um, whilst taking off the tape, ran into a little bit of a problem. Um, scuffed up a bit of the, um, the trim piece here. So we're gonna have to maybe get a bit of compound and buff that out. <coughs> She's pretty much ready for some polish. So um, obviously got the pressure washer to use the foam cannon with. We have these mitts, obviously go down the whole car. We got our wax at clay cloth with um, some lubricant. A little bit of compound to get that little front area that's a bit scratched up. And then polish the whole rest of the car with this. Once it's done, a bit of trim restore, a bit of tire shine. The stuff's not that good, but who cares, you know. And we got some um, ceramic coating. So that should all do the job. We also have a bit of alcohol spray here to get rid of any little pieces that we need to do. So let's get cracking and get straight into it. Right boys, so I forgot to record the process of foaming it and mending it down because apparently I didn't press record. So we're gonna start getting the clay bar and just rubbing the whole car down, making sure there's no contaminants all over the car. And then we can get to polishing once it dries up a bit. We got our wax at clay cloth here and our lubricant. But yeah, there's not a lot of room to work with here, but it's what we have, so it's what we're going to work with. Right, so the panels are a lot cooler now, so we can start waxing. But what you guys can see, there's lots of just little specks of shit that I've just gathered over time, obviously. And um, hopefully the clay bar should remove some of that. And I'll show you guys here. This is where it's really scratched up. And I was trying to take off the uh, tape, so... We're definitely gonna hit, have to hit that a little bit later with the uh, compound and get that out. Right guys, basic process. We grab our lubricant and we spray down the panel. And we're gonna let that sit for about a minute. Let it get into all those contaminants. Um, then we wipe it down with the cloth, which I'll skip to now. 
and we're going linear motion, so I'll show you guys can hear all those sounds. And after we do that, all we have to do is rinse it. And we gotta do that with all the other panels for the rest of the car, just like that. Right, so the whole car has now been clayed. All we have left to do is polish the car and then um, we might do a bit of wax. I'm still considering it, It'll take a lot more time. Um, ceramic coat it, do the vinyl and all that stuff. Uh, the trim pieces I'm in, all that stuff. Yeah, all those little scratches that are in the paint there, we're gonna get some compound. We'll start by prepping our surface with an alcohol base. At 3000 RPM should probably do the job of three and a half. Hopefully you guys can see this now. The scratches are pretty much gone about where I am right now. They're really, really light, but I think if I go any deeper, I'll um, run into some issues with clear. So we're gonna leave it as is, but I reckon that's pretty good. So yeah, we're gonna change the pads and get into polishing the bonnet and so forth. And we're doing that all around the car until we finish, so. Right boys, it's fucking nearly four hours later or some shit like that, but the car is finally done. So um, I'll quickly just go around. Um, I'll do a final, you know, video at the end once I've done all the steps, but. Alright, so I've decided we're going to do a bit of wax to make sure the paint stays as good as it is. So we've got this turtle wax here, it's a liquid one. We're going to chuck that on a microfiber cloth, um, let it haze up and then give it about 20 minutes or like something like that and wipe it off. Hopefully you guys can see that on footage. The car's all hazed up now from the wax, um, so all we have to do is just wipe that stuff down and it should be protected with wax right guys a new day we're gonna get straight into it so i go quickly around the car now it's out of the garage so you guys get a better view of how the paint turned up after the wax and um the polish and all that so yeah that bonnet's looking pretty good matches with the rest of the car now um so yeah we're just gonna go around the car we're gonna get all these little um, trim pieces and do the plastic restore and then we have some some ceramic coating that we're going to use and do that all around the car after some tire shine um, should be all nice and glossy and um, yeah we're going to get into the interior steam a few things and get into some of those little areas that just build up dirt like the gear shifter in the steering wheel and stuff so so I'll show yeah. you guys the process. We got a little sponge here. Put a bit of trim restorer onto it. Just slightly ease that into it. Let's go back and forth. And you wanna make sure it's all even across. And then you let it penetrate. And after it's done penetrating, your little cousin Um, you pretty much just let it dry a bit and then you hit it with a microfiber cloth and make sure it's all evenly, evenly spread. But yeah, we're going to do it all, all around the car, all these little pieces around the door trim, um, this front area, stuff like that. And this is the results after you do the trim restorer. And finally, the last step of the exterior before doing the interior is to ceramic coat the car with a damp cloth and then wiping it down with a dry cloth. Alright guys, we just finished the ceramic coating in time before the mighty thunderstorm hits. Yeah, we're going to park in the garage until the rain clears and after that happens, um, 
we'll start on the interior. Right guys, so I'm gonna save you guys the expense of going through the whole car. So I'm gonna skip to where we've done all the windows and we have armor all protected the whole car, including the seats, all the trim pieces, the doors, uh, the steering wheel, the handbrake. And I'll also skip to where the little bits of dirt that's stuck in between the gear shift are. So I'll see you guys then. Jeez, look at that. All that, that whole little piece. Stuck inside the gear shifter and those little edges. Let's go on outside. Right, the interior is now done. So, there's only one more step to do, boys. The shitty armor or tire shine. Right guys, the car is now finished. We've finally done it. It's taken nearly two days to fully complete it. That's not um, all work. We've had a few breaks, but um, yeah, we're gonna do a little quick montage so you guys can see what the results look like. So let's get straight into it. Right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that montage. That is the end of the video for the lovely G6E. So, in the next video, should be doing some modifications to the AU Falcon. Um, something that I've been trying to do for the exterior has been taking a little bit more time than I've expected. But um, hopefully it's ready for the next few days, so we should be able to get that video done. Um, but yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Make sure you get the notifications for whenever I post. And I'll see you guys in the next video.